Hi and hello everyone and welcome back to our Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition multiplayer series featuring myself, Berg787 and Grey Hunter. Say hello. Hello. Alright, so here we are in the Astro Lab, about to go and speak to whatever that chap's name is and give him some pieces of machinery. So Gellerith. Away you go. That's it, away you go. Gellerith, come here. I have things for you. Gah! This infernal machine will never be fixed. Yeah, well, you know, hey, Kalesa had this piece of machinery, so is this what you need? Let Apparently. Me see. Well, send me to the abyss. You might be right. If you find any more pieces, let me know. Otherwise, check back with me after I put the part in. Alright, well, I found this other piece in one of the war rooms. Let me see. <laughs> well, send me to the abyss. You might be right. <laughs> anyway, yada yada. Deja vu? Deja vu. Alright, check back with him. Okay, so is that everything that we needed? Hey, look, more bits of spinning. You're right, there is one more bit that we need. It's the right one. But speak to yeah. him just quickly, just to confirm that. Hello? Gah! This infernal machine will never be fixed. All right, whatever, we've got to go downstairs. Uh, find yeah. me a piece. Yeah, he doesn't say how many we need, I guess. All right, so we did miss out a bit in the lower what section. You we missed right. out on at least... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be in the lower section. Because there was bits that we didn't explore down there. I didn't I realize. Recall. I thought it was just like we didn't go in there because it was kind of like a. You can go up a level, but it's just which side you want to go. I up. just don't like that section so much because like there's. Watch this. It's so twisty, even when you're just trying to go upstairs. Ah, <sighs> fetch quests. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we don't like them. Especially when it's already fetching through an area that you've already been in. It's like, fair enough if we needed to just go ahead to somewhere. See, the thing is, I wouldn't mind if he told you where to look. He never said where to look, that I can recall. He's just like, find me pieces. Why are these pieces just scattered? Like, it's... I can understand so just... Kalesa having one. That makes sense. And I can understand I the just... priestess having one. Make way. But why does that make sense? Well, because presumably they tried to, you know, take the damn thing apart after they realized it was causing all these problems. Oh, right, I get So you. it makes sense for people to have it. Well, I guess maybe someone else had it, but they died. You know? Like Everyone in to... this damn tower is dead. No, but you know what I mean, like, as in, like, dead, dead. They oh, they like... died for really reals, right? Yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't well, just half dead, they were proper dead. Considering yeah, they were, they were dead. My Chemical Romance dead. Oh. Oh my. Uh, the song, not that the band is dead, as far as I'm aware. I mean, they might be dead, I don't I know. Got I'm, not big, I'm not a big fan, I just know the one song from one of the Guitar Hero games. Right. Let's be honest, Guitar Hero is pretty amazing. I, I think it was in a Guitar Heroes game. Seems a bit random for me to just listen to that one song if it wasn't in a Guitar Hero game. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, that song, because I don't think it's even their most famous song as far as I'm aware, but um, I'm sure it was in one of the Guitar Hero games. Next week on uh, Pop Culture References. <laughs> Basically. Don't worry, we're all messed out. We hope. Well, now we're into the, the hub. So, do we actually know where we haven't gone? I don't know, you seem to be kind of aware of where we didn't go. Well, I have a vague idea. All I know is that, like, there were spots All right, well, downstairs where there were, like, there were more stairs heading down. Well, you mean yeah. in, like, the very lowest level there was a way to go down? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. there was, um, when we were at, uh, I can't remember if it was the first landing level or the second, there was, like, two doors... Right. And one headed down and the other one didn't. Alright, well, well, we'll find out. Watch this. I know what I'm talking about, but I... It's... Apparently so, I'm not doubting that you... <laughs> I, I have a vague idea of where the thing that I'm talking about is. Alright, hold on. So, second level, second level, fourth level, second level. So any of these takes us down. Yeah, I think we have to go down. We can use the lift! No, because we already went down there, didn't we? Or did we? I don't think we did. I don't Wait, think we no, maybe not. 
I don't remember using the lift. No, we didn't. We, um, we... Oh, there's a trap. <laughs> oh, and I'm confused and poisoned. Oh, good. Stop fighting me. Stop it. Oh, and another trap. Oh, you found two of them. Of course you did. Why, how didn't we activate these traps before? Well, maybe we didn't walk on this area. Hey. I'm uh, pretty sure I walked through that. Move out of his way. That's really not very nice. Oh, he's all right now. He's okay. Dick move, Lord Berg, fighter thief. Hey, he was confused and scared. He wasn't sure how to act around women. Yeah. <laughs> he suddenly had this vision of high school and those terrible moments. Now I don't want to walk over that area. I'm just no. Sorry, I've got him. I've got him detecting traps. So. Well, I'm wrong? just gonna wait over here until you're absolutely certain there's nothing there. I'm all right. Come on, I've got to gather my party before venturing forth. Well, I figure if we're going down into the unknown, we should be prepared. So I'm I'm magicking. All right. Making sure I'm ready. All right, there we go. Now I've got the zappy hands going, so we're all good. Zappy hands. Yep. Zappy hands. They're like jazz hands, but more electrical. Electric boogaloo hands. <laughs> exactly. They're electric boogaloo hands. Adria 2, electric boogaloo. Go! Well, that's, that's not good. Hello. Hi. So, armored skeleton, shattered soul. Nothing too terribly dangerous, I don't think. I think we're okay for just killing things. I'm here. All right. Although that Shattered Soul doesn't make me happy. I'm going to go for it with Adria. If I can. So what you say? Invisibility on the priest? On the cleric? Well, not when they know we're here. Oh, right. I thought it worked. Like, it doesn't matter. No, no, no. I, I meant more like if we know there's going to be undead in the next section, we can, we can trap them and, like, surprise them by being all magical. Die, you shattered soul! Well, we got one of them. I'm going after the others. Well, I was, but then they were all like, no. Alright, I'm coming back to the group, because this is not going as well. Right. Lady Grey, can you please move out of the way? Thank you. Alright, they're not doing anything particularly. Hold on. Yeah, they're just annoying, is all. Because yeah. <clears throat> they kept running away. Yeah, come here, to kill you them. stupid shattered soul. Something here? What do you want? There we go. That's better. Alright, shattered soul, come here. I want you to die. Like now. There we go. Cheers, bro. Alright, so they were just kind of more annoying. Yeah, they were just irritating. Okay. Come here, Lady Grey. Yes. Um. Let's see. Consider it done. There's a container down here. I'll go and investigate. Oh, I found a dagger. I think, or a short sword. I can't tell. A short no. sword that Schmendwan needs Schmendwan. to identify. Uh, short sword of action, plus two. Plus one to dexterity, and then it's just a regular plus two short sword. Hmm. It's so kind of nice, but... Seems interesting. But nobody uses but, short swords. No, so that's pointless. But, I mean, it's nice for what it is. Like, if someone used short swords, it'd be pretty sweet. Ah, look, there's like a way over here. Where does that take us? Ah, so this lift took us to where? Somewhere. Oh, all right, okay. How did we not... First level, so I'm just looking. Yeah, at we're map. on the other side because that was the other side of this was where we got ambushed. Right. Okay. And then I'm just. This... Uh... Oh, you you found friends. It's all right. It's nothing that we can't handle. Hello. Ready for... Very well. Can you guys like not? Thanks. Oh. Go and get that shattered soul. There we go. Watch 
No, we're all good. Much better. You need to watch me work. Are there any containers in here? No. <sighs> what do you want? That's Leave depressing. It, it is depressing. Something wrong? I'm thinking that means that we must go deeper. What's the third level? Should we go through this door then? Well, the or third the level was where we were. I'm here. Like, oh, was it? Yeah, the third level was um, where we came down from. Oh, right, so this takes us to the first level then. All right, we'll go Yeah, that, presumably to a bit that we couldn't get to before. I, I would imagine. Maybe, yeah. yeah, that sounds about right. Give the word. What do you want? There we go. Priest. Alia. Her. <laughs> Face me if you dare. There well, that was a trap. Anywhere. Well, I mean, we'll deal with these idiots. Oh, can people get out of the way so Dwarf Shanks can... Yes. There you go. Hmm. Bzzp. Basically. I All do right. like this electric jazz hands. There's another chappy. Oh, you found friends. Watch this. What is with no. We found lots of friends. Because of course we did. I don't like these Shattered Soul guys. They're like, not particularly powerful, I... but they're irritating. Yeah, yeah. And these Bone Guardians. I, they, I think they all their casting is like minor drains. So they're kind of healing themselves, but since since we hadn't actually done any damage to them to start with, it didn't really make a difference. Yeah. Alright, Juno, seriously, go after the Shattered Soul, because they're irritating the balls off me. Good job. May the gods have mercy on you. There we go. Mm -hmm. There's a loot container. Yeah, go and have a look. It has a crossbow. Uh, what, one that needs identifying? Yep. There you go, Shmendwan. What do you want? Oh, you found more friends. Good. Um, do we want to fight them in here then? I think it makes too much of a difference. It's only these dudes. We'll I beat suppose. Them up. Consider it done. Yes. All right, I'm get them. Um, I'm going to summon some creatures. Yeah, I think you got the right idea. Come on, there we go. Wow. Oh, there's a massive one in there. Yeah, I've got bears. I know, but they're like a big shattered soul. Like the daddy Ooh. soul. Oh, hello. So there is a severed soul. Not just a regular shattered soul. Oh, well, there was a soul. It died to electricity. What do you want? Where's uh, Adria going? I have no idea. She, like, she killed the shattered soul and then just kind of went, you know what? I'm done. I'm cool. I've had enough, actually. Oh, she's getting cool a bit, a, actually. I was going to say, we are taking a few hits here. Heal on up. Like, it's not a big deal. We got this. It's just irritating. I'm here. Yeah. Which I think is kind of the theme of this lower bit of severed hand. It's not actually powerful, it's just annoying. Ooh, cool. Leveled up. Who did? Additional level 3 and level 4 spell. Excellent. Oh, nice. Let's see what spells I could give you. Alright, so... Ah, um... oh, man, I should have used Holy Smite on them. I didn't even think about that. Well and good. Um, let's go for another cure spell. Take care of it. And level 4. Name your I'll take Free action, give protection from evil, blood rage? What does that do? What is required? Very well. oh, bullshit. Neutralize poison, death ward. Uh, 
Cloak of Fear. Mm. Cloak of Fear isn't too bad. Depends on who you're fighting, though, I guess. Yeah. Um, like, it wouldn't be useful be against Undead, because they don't get afraid. No, no, no. Um, do you want to uh, rest? Well, there's a third room, so do we want to deal I know, with but we that are first? In... Oh, no, we're not that bad. Oh, Berg leveled up as well. I didn't even realise, so. Uh, okay, cool. I'm just going to bump up the fine traps and uh, a locks just to kind of negate the negative that he's getting. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you could just let the wolves do it. Find out what's in oh, there. No, we, won't, we won't be out of sea, though, that's the thing. Yeah, but if they get attacked, we'll know. Uh, See? Hold on. I want to test out Holy Smite. Oh, yeah. My wolves. They killed my wolves. Oh. Oh, my. Did it do damage? I don't know. But whatever it was, it looked impressive as hell. Actually, yeah, it must have, because the Shattered Soul is near death. Uh, no, no. And I'm pretty sure Bladed we have shot Bladed Skeleton, unaffected by effects of Holy Smite, it says. Yeah, but the Shattered Soul was hurt, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it takes seven damage from Dwarf Shanks. Yeah, but... The Shattered Soul had to save the Bladed... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So it affects the Shattered Souls, but it didn't affect the Bladed Skeletons. Well, that's okay. The Shattered Souls are the annoying ones anyway. Oh, you know what? You might want to move out of there. Me? No, me! Oh, right. The fighter thief. Yeah, I've been running Shmendwan with his sword because his bow's are unaffected against these dudes, so... Well, his sword is helpful. He's got skill in it. He might as well use it. Here we go. Found it. Success. What do you want? Make way. Uh, do we just want to go back then and then, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. heal after we've gone and given him the stuff? Well, I mean, we can we can heal on way. Oh yeah, actually, it, it's perfectly placed. Yeah. It's on the way there. So yeah, because this is where we this is opposite of where we came in. Right, I, I wasn't aware, so good um, Good thing, though, I did set up to, to toot my own horn. Thankfully, I did say, let's check the lift out, because <laughs> imagine where we would have... Imagine where we would have been going if we hadn't gone down the lift. We would have been, like, scouring yeah. the lower levels. Like, oh, my God, it is. It's like two whole episodes of, where the fuck are we going? No, it, it properly would have been. Like, if we hadn't gone down the lift, it would have been like, where the fuck are we going? The amazing adventures of people stumbling around Severed Hand. Basically. So, thankfully... Thankfully, At least the way back is pretty clear. Yeah, there's no long walks. It's just hitting loading screen oh. after loading screen. <laughs> Yo, but dog, I heard it's... you liked loading screens, so I gave you a loading screen with your loading screen. <laughs> <laughs> so you could load while you loaded. Load. You know, actually, speaking of loading and such, do you remember the best ever game with loading things. It was called Stronghold. And whenever you saved or you loaded, the announcer would exuberantly say, saving or loading. And it was great. No, I didn't I didn't oh. see that. That's so it was amazing. I remember the original Resident Evil's loading screens used to bug me. Like whenever <laughs> you went through a door, there was that little animation of a door opening, and it was like, oh, hurry up. Back in the day where they tried to disguise loading screens with worse things. Hold on one second, let me just, uh... Did I use a spell? You know, I've got a spare spell. Okay. Heavy crossbow of accuracy. The guide. That's what it's called. Um, Thaco, plus seven. Wow. Wow. That is pretty awesome. So if anyone actually used crossbows, that would be amazing. Yeah, it would be pretty amazing. Hold on. I, it's going to be a little bit annoying, but I want to go and uh, sell it just to get it. Since we're here... No, that makes sense. Oh, is the bag gone? Oh, no more, no more bag usage, by the way. The bag is... Uh... Oh, no, it's still there. It disappeared for a second, but then it came back. Hmm. 
Um, okay, gave us a potion of improvision. How useful. Yeah, kind of. All right. I'm pretty sure we have, like, one human among the lot of us who doesn't already have infravision. Yeah, do we actually have any full-blown humans? Yes. Adria. Who? Oh, all right, okay. Because she's dual-classed. Yeah, 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 of course. Um... Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we can go. I have to go. I should go now. No, wrong way. Or is it the right way? Uh, isn't it? No, it's the wrong way. It's this way. Because we found oh, them yeah, before. Yeah, we right. There. They were in Kalesa's tower, of course. Ah, forget it. You had me thinking for a second, and I was like, really? Hold on a minute. It See, this one. is the other reason that the severed hand gets irritating. It's not just, like, it's not just needlessly complex. It's needlessly fair, complex, irritatingly. To be fair, I much prefer it to Dragon's Eye. True, true. Dragon's Eye was just annoying. Severed hand is mildly irritating. I think also because we're pretty tough at this stage. That's true. So we're big crap out of stuff? Yeah, nothing has really kind of endangered us in the same way that stuff in Dragon's Eye did. And like, in Dragon's Eye shit that wasn't even like bosses, like gave us some problems. Yeah, I, I Blizzard men, in general, what? were not fun. Yeah, those beetles were annoying. The beetles are actually probably the most annoying thing in there. <laughs> Um, like literally, the beetles would kick our ass. Like, we couldn't take on the beetles, like, wave after wave. It was like, you had to fight them and then run off. I think it's a tie between the beetles and um, those well, Talonites. Oh, because yeah. Because the Talonites were just irritating, because they were like, oh, by the way, you want to fight us? Lol, no. Leave it to me. Well, that we didn't actually die there, but that was kind of funny when we were in that, because we, we were all scared, scattered, and it was just, like, what you could hear was, oh, I'm fighting Oh, help. <laughs> We're all over the place. And what happened to those dudes that I unlocked in there? Because that's how it all started. Like, I opened the door and there was, like, some people, like, some adventurers who were trapped in there. And they what? went to fight me. And I was like, whoa, 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 what are you talking about? Like, I'm adventurers too. Like, I'm not a Talonite. And then they just fought their way out of there and then disappeared. I don't think they died. They just disappeared. They well, ran yeah. off. I, I didn't see any bodies or anything. And so I imagine that they just literally left. But they weren't, like, villagers. You know what I mean? No, like, they, you saw they were those, fellow adventurers. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. were actually the original caravan guards. Oh, were they? Yeah. Uh, uh, all right, I didn't like, know that. Yeah, they were guarding the caravan at the very beginning. So you full of law. Leave it to me. Full yeah. Of I, law. <laughs> what you mean to say is you paying attention. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You bastard. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I, I, I thought I'd pay you more of a compliment saying you're full of law rather than paying attention. But yeah. Yeah. You're basically the real life Schmend one. Oh God! Please don't. <laughs> no, Schmend one's all right. Schmend one's good. Schmendrick, not so good. Schmend one's all right. You know what we didn't do? No. We didn't heal. Yeah, we might be in a bit of trouble if it turns out that he's kind of angry and wants to kill us. I'm just hoping that that's you know not going to be a thing. Just, just, just in case. Get out of the way. On my way. A little bit of healing, just in case. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little concerned that he might flip out when it when he figures out we have a dwarf. Because so far he's been busy being batshit insane. Yeah. So I mean, I'm wondering if you know if we fix the thing that he's obsessing over, will he suddenly go? Hang on a minute, dwarf, get him. I'm sure we can. Have you not got any heals left? No, I used them. All right. Okay. Well, we'll be fine. I think Go we'll on, be okay. Speak, speak to. Oh, do I need to give you the thing? Uh, yeah. Give us. Give us the bit. It's a bit of Adria. Yep. I'll give her electric jazz hands just in case things go badly. Yeah. All right, dude. I found your thing. Gah! This infernal machine will never be fixed. Deja vu? I removed this piece from an undead shadow within the hand. It looks like part of that machine. Let me see. Well, send me to the abyss. <laughs> you might be right. Alright, I'll check back one. 
So I'm presuming that doohickey on the right will be spinning now. I hope yeah. so. Hey, look, spinning. We done? We better be done. Maybe. I don't really want to. Go. I don't I'll want to go to him again. Anymore. Hello. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? You have my eternal gratitude for helping me fix her. May Corellian guide you. Corellon. Thanks, I guess. That it? No, no experience. Maybe we have to talk to Laurel about it. Hi, Laurel. Uh, greetings, adventurers. Pardon me while I gather my thoughts. Who are you, and what has just come to pass? Oh man, uh, I wish I had fucking effects that I could put on my voice. <laughs> 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 All right. I think number one seems like the way to go. We are adventurers who have come from the Seven Hands to seek your knowledge and power. In doing so, we've learned of the curse bestowed here and your sanity lost centuries ago. We have restored you to some of your former self and beseech you for aid. Indeed you have, noble adventurers. It must have taken great courage and strength to make it as far as you did, let alone restore some balance to my thoughts. I am eternally in your debt. But surely you did not come to the hand of the Seldarine on a whim. Tell me what it is you seek. Um, Sounds super sarcastic. He does a little bit, doesn't he? Uh, do we want to continue this conversation like the long way? I don't way, care what happened in the, the hand. I think, I've got, I think I've got a rough idea of what happened in the hand, so. Okay. Very well. As legend states, the Hearthstone gem is an ancient artifact from a time long forgotten. Its most notable owners were the Druids of Kaldahar for one within their circle stole the gem. It was thought forever lost until now. Well, obviously, we didn't found it. Didn't it get stolen, like, just recently? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. ...combine the affairs of people throughout the realms. There are only a few within the land who know how to release its powers. I am one of them. Well, how did he know it got stolen? Said, I don't know. What is it you seek to learn from the Hearthstone gem? I have no idea. Um... Magic. Trouble has well, laid its ugly head, and we seek the source so that we may crush it. Is that the one you want to go with? Basically the same thing, it just sounds cooler. Then you will have what you seek. Oh. Hand me the hearts <laughs> That's a little depressing. There you go, bro. Freed from the shackles of his tormented mind, the cursed elven lord was at last able to assist the heroes in their quest. Handing over the heartstone gem, the party stood back and watched Laro begin his divination. With the artifact raised before him, clutched tightly in his skeletal hands, the undead sorcerer peered intently into the gem as he whispered a series of strange chants and incantations. A spark of light briefly flashed within the gem, as if a ray of sunlight had caught upon its surface. And suddenly, Reflected within the mirrored facets of the stone, there appeared an image of a statue. The statue was clearly a monument of sorts, depicting an elf and a dwarf sitting side by side on a dual throne. Even if Labellus's curse had taken my eyesight, I would still recognize that hole. <laughs> what you have seen is Dorn's Deep den of the betrayers. In here is where the wretched dwarves hollow out their home. Just it seems quickly. a little bitter. Yes. Yeah, just quickly. I did like in the little cutscene where it was like clutched tightly in his skeletal hand, yet it was like hovering above his hand. In the yeah, picture. he wasn't even holding it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. I was amused by this. Be warned if your journey takes you there. If any of the dwarves remain, expect no quarter, for they will give none. Believe none of their lies. All lead to treachery. He's cheerful. And Dwarf if you do just decide there, to venture right? forth hmm. to that dwarven vestige of evil, then I will mark its location on your map. Also, I have the power to take you there if you wish. Well, I think that well, we're we should going to for call. now just yes. say not for right now. We have things to attend to, like ending episodes. You want to end the episode here? Well, I think we should because we've gone a little over time. Which, what, what I mean is, all right, okay, cool. Um, all right, super. Well, there we go. That should be the seven hand done, which is good. I, for one, am glad that we're moving on to the hell hole of the dwarves. 
But uh, until then, we're probably going to take a little detour to Kaldahar. So join us then. That'll be on tomorrow's episode. Till then, thanks for watching. See you next time.